All right. So we have already learned the Hegel Poisson's equation. Cosine sound per bridge So when you get this equation in essay questions, they will ask you to prove that uh, this equation is dimensionally accurate. In the Saman part on the Bahadi Renda the Bahadi, let's say, Kelugal Ketang and Sunda. Other one, the Parivana Padi, Tirthaman, it's not that hard. You know, Q equals the equation equals uh, pi divided by 8 into pressure gradient into r to the power 4 divided by neat. Uh, this is the equation. So, you, we have what you have to do is you have to take the left hand side dimensions that is Q, dimension of Q. Uh, Q is volume divided by time. Q is the volume divided by time. It's going to be L cube over T, that is L cube T minus 1. Now we have to prove that the right, uh, right hand side of the equation also has the same dimensions. Okay, then let's go to the right hand side. When you take the dimensions of right hand side, uh, you have this uh, pi divided by 8 into pressure gradient 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 into pressure pressure uh, amukam, so for that I'll put m l minus 1 t minus 2 divided by length. Length is l. Nilam l into r is also another length. So it is l to the power 4 divided by eta is coefficient of viscosity. Eta under the physical make m l minus 1 t minus 1. That we derived already in the previous tutorial. I have show it, showed it to you. So you can use that uh, to get the equation. Here it is. So we derived it earlier. We use this. And then uh, you can substitute it here. There's no other option. You have to remember it. If you can't uh, remember it, then you will have to find out and uh, get the answer. So here we know we can simplify easily. This is the M and M will get cancelled off. And uh, likewise, if you simplify. We're going to get uh, the same equation, the L minus one, L minus one cancel. Because here, uh, finally, you will be end up in, you will be ending up in this equation. Okay. So see, left hand side, right hand side, uh, uh, dimensions are same. So we can conclude that uh, this equation is dimensional. It is the kai, it is the kai parimanam, but the kai pakka kaniyangal da parimanam. Savana kripta. In the saman pad parimana padi tirutamana thete. So, so you have to write this and you have to write that. But that's why they will do it. But that's why they will do it. Then it will be a complete answer. All right. So that's the first thing. If you if you are not sure about this, then you will have to use this equation. Which what equation was that? F equals eta a delta v over d equation. Use for me eta equals to f into d over a delta v into equation. Dimensions There's no other option, that's what you have to do. Right? So, this is a basic thing. Uh, they will normally ask this. All right. Then before we move on to the next equation, now uh, there is this uh, practical, there's one practical we need to learn in viscosity. Uh, you, that experiment is to determine the coefficient of viscosity of uh, a fluid using um, Poisson's equation. Poisson summon part of an party, or Tiravatta Pisukumi Kunahata, Kandari Kana, Parsu the other, and Deva. Okay, in the Parsu the name of the new practical handbook, the practical handbook can use Pandra practical skill. Practical handbook love on the experiment number thirty nine. Right. Experiment number 39 the diagram details are rough on the diagram varanji quick explain for this experiment we need the instruments we need are this we will need a constant pressure hit on the heat limp so we know uh, the constant pressure head will look like this actually
okay this is how it looks like constant pressure in sonna uh, always in this in this uh, tank water will be filled up to this level so we will be sending water and water will be always here and the water which is above this level will overflow through this depome in the in the tank la vandu water level vandu idhe height la irukku maintain appo idhe inge la vandu eduthu we connect it to a rubber this is a rubber tube we connect to rubber tube and then we connect that rubber tube to a capillary the capillary tube has to be flat like this so we you know this is the capillary tube so i have drawn the inner diameter very small like this capillary tube and then uh, it's very important that the capillary tube has to be horizontal kideya irikenum and from that uh, it will be connected to a small thread or a nulu connect one from, from a small thread and from that thread water will be coming out drop by drop like this and then we will be collecting it inside a vessel okay we will collect inside a measuring cylinder this is a measuring cylinder adavud alakkum sa measuring cylinder and near that you will need to keep a stopwatch the stopwatch to measure time i will explain why you need this stopwatch and everything okay good so for a few things we have to understand that is those are this mm. first of all appa idu vandu this is a capillary tube like i told earlier a capillary tube why because poissel's law is valid only for capillary flow through lamina flow through capillary tubes appa nanga this is a thread okay thread thread vandu nool undu thinna oru cotton nool undu nanga use pannom appa and the reason for using the thread is uh, to avoid excess pressure building at this point appa vandu thread illa nu sonna when you have a uh, capillary tube now when if the thread is not there i just extrude it here and show the thread was not there you will learn this under surface tension idu vandu nanga parappilu veindra paadathula padipom if the thread is not there nool illa nu sonna ipdi vandrum the thiru water will be some times like this so there will be an excess pressure created because of this manisms the pirai oru kaaranamaga oru meladiga amukku uruvaangu and amukkam vande indha saman part la naanga karathina adu pilla so we have to avoid that uh, so for that only we use this thread and one more thing we don't want water to splash out the thiravam vegamaga veliya varad tharukirathu endu sonna naanga padichikirum poises law is valid only for lamina flows lamina flows means slow low speed அறிவிக்கோட்டுக்கும் and then uh, another thing uh, capillary tube vandana pressure thevai engalukku engal theriyum indha point la pressure ana eduthom sonna sariya p1 indha point la pressure edukonanga p2 okay two pressures are there so in the equation that nanga use panna porom this is the equation we are going to use in that equation we need a q q for q uh, q is volume flow rate q vand kanavalavu paachal veedam adha adukku dhaan idu rendu we measure the volume we measure the time you divide the volume by time you have and then for pressure difference i will explain how we find the pressure difference length of course you can find the length of the uh, capillary tube using a meter ruler there is no problem in that you measure the length so i'll just mark the length of the capillary tube somewhere here here length you can measure it using a meter ruler and a radius of the capillary tube you can directly measure are engalukku ena neradiya alakkela ana vitta alakkala nagarum nunuk katti pan when you use traveling microscope you can measure the diameter you have learned it in units and dimensions sorry measuring instruments you can measure it diameter if not i don't know whether you can remember you should be remembering actually uh, you can use a capillary tube and then uh, you can take a mercury thread and then you measure the length of the mercury thread and then you use that equation and you can find that diameter this will give you the average diameter ஒரு மயிர்த்துளை குழாயில ஒரு ரச நிரல் எடுத்து அந்த ரசலில நீல தளர்ந்து அந்த ரசலி நிலையில திணி வாழ்ந்து ஒரு சமன்பாடு அந்த சமன்பாடு பயன்படுத்தி எங்களுக்கு இந்த சராசரி வீட்டத்தை கணிக்கலாம் இது வந்து 
நகர்வுடன் காட்டிய நேரடியா பயன்படுத்தி கணிக்கிற விட்டத்தை மிக திருத்தமான ஒரு சராசரி பெருமானம் திணிவு கனவளவு தர அடர்த்தி நாங்களுக்கு <laughs> this is a uh, one diameter and this is another diameter so you take these two measurements so average diameter will be t1 plus t2 divided by 2 okay that is the diameter and when you divide diameter by 2 you will get the radius okay so you can uh, uh, you can uh, find the diameter of the tube or radius of the tube using those methods so that's settled in this equation and then we need uh, to speak for our purpose is finding eta right purpose is finding eta that we can sort out pressure difference let's talk about pressure difference now like we have done many times in uh, mechanics what is the pressure of p1 pressure at p1 i will write pressure at p1 is going to be atmospheric pressure plus h rho g okay atmospheric plus okay na this this is that and what is pressure at p2 p2 is a point which is exposed to air so pressure at p2 will be fine p1 less some come and வளிமண்டலம் so now what is the theory part of this experiment a few things quickly uh, for poisson's equation to be valid for poisson's equation to be valid we study five conditions one is a uh, lamina flow arivi kootu paachu second one the tube should be horizontal kidayana uh, kidayana or kulai third one the tube should have a uh, cro- uh, circular cross section there திரவத்துல குறுக்கிட்டு பரப்பல வந்து ஒரு வட்ட வடிவமான குறுக்கிட்டு பரப்பல வரைக்கும் that is also done and the uh, fourth one a viscous liquid should flow okay anyways we are going to find it and then uh, another one we learned uh, the other one was yeah and it has to be a capillary tube of course it has to be a capillary tube so we are using a capillary tube then all the conditions are satisfied then only we can use this equation all right good now now uh, let's uh, focus on the theory part huh? theory part here is the the theory is this we start here uh, q equals pi over 8 uh, delta p over l dot r to the power 4 over eta so our purpose is finding eta if you don't change the capillary tube ni my tule kula maata ti l and r are constant l and r are constant and you have to find the eta of a specific liquid or kurupita kiravathra eta vatha naan kandupidikkenu agave eta um oru maari irukku adu maaradhu indha purpose so the two things we can change are q and delta p now before uh, for i move on to q and delta p okay fine then uh, yeah so instead of uh, i'll quickly rearrange the equations so you can understand q is equal to pi r to the power 4 over 8 eta into in the delta p indra varu vandu h rho g na kandupidichu we have found that delta p is equal to h rho g so i'll just substitute h rho g okay so what we do in this experiment is for different values of h we measure different qs okay how do you measure q you can measure uh, you can take measure the time taken to collect certain amount of volume so you divide that volume by time you will get q what is q volume flow rate வித்தியாசமான 
நான் இதை திருப்பி எழுதிட்டேன்னு சொன்னா கியூ சம்மன் பை ஆர் நாலாம் அடுக்கு ரோ ஜி டிவைடட் பை எயிட் நீட் மல்டிப்ளை பை எச் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபைனல் ஈக்வேஷன் சோ இஃப் யூ செக் தட் ஈக்வேஷன் இட் வில் பி இட் இட் வில் சிமிலர் டு y mx கிராப் திஸ் வில் பி இன் y ஆக்சிஸ் திஸ் வில் பி இன் x ஆக்சிஸ் ஓகே சோ when you plot the graph variable one varanjum sonna will be getting q in y axis getting a q in y axis that is going to be meter q per second and you will be getting h in x axis you can use meters you will be getting a graph like this a graph going through the origin okay appo or utpatti kuda sellum or neer kodu varu appo and neer kodra padithir nadatha when you take the gradient of the graph the gradient that is equal to this pi r4 rho g over 8 meter okay so if you take this you take this now r we can find out rho is the density of the liquid we know g is uh, 10 or 9.81 you can use it 8 is a number eta is what we are supposed to find out so eta you can make the subject and you can find eta that is the experiment all these details are given to you in the 39th experiment of your physics practical handbook ungala uh, practical handbook ungala uh, idu thanala irukum appo adhu neenga paathukonga appo sila vishayangal na sonnen the conditions have to be satisfied the theory uh, the discussion part the conditions which are satisfied you have to use a capillary tube why it's a condition for poisson's uh, hagen equation to be true okay right and then uh, next is it has to be horizontal in the live vandu kide arikku So to make sure that it is horizontal we use a spirit level spirit level means in the bar sunna maatta kaiyila irikku etc so there will be a small water bubble which goes here and there so if you using that you can uh, make sure that it is uh, horizontal parallel to the horizontal we nanga neer mattam nu solluvom tamil la english la vandu solluvom nanga spirit level nu tamil la nanakira neer mattam nu solluvom appa neer mattatha paavichi in the maithuli kula kidaya ben kattaya adu kidaya irukku அடுத்தது வந்து மயிர்துளை குழாயில உள்ள வேக திரவம் வெளியே வர வேகத்தை கட்டுப்படுத்த தான் நாங்க ஒரு நூல் ஒன்று பயன்படுத்துறோம் ஏனா we have to control the velocity of the water ejecting out of the capillary tube if not it will be wrong and uh, it is of course a cylindrical tube so all these uh, conditions are satisfied and then you do this experiment and uh, i explained you one more reason why we use a thread another reason we don't want this kind of meniscus to be formed at the end of the tube. இந்த மாதிரி பிரையுருக்கள் உருவாக உருவாகனால் இட் will create an additional pressure இந்த பிரையுரு வந்து ஒரு மேலதிக அமுக்கு உருவாகும் அதனால இந்த பிராக்டிகல் வந்து இந்த பரிசோதனை வந்து பிளே there will be the answers the results we get will be inaccurate and one more thing let's say you draw the graph and the graph is not a straight it's a curve you get a curve okay ஒரு ஒரு கேர்வா வந்த ஒரு வளைகூடா வந்தன்னு சொன்னா அது காரணம் என்னன்னா இந்த திரவ பாய்ச்சல் வந்து அருவி கூட்டு பாய்ச்சல் இல்லை இஃப் யூ கெட்டிங் அ கேர்வ் தி ஃப்ளோ இஸ் நாட் லாமின் அனிமோ இட் ஹஸ் பிகம் டர்பியூலன்ட் குண்டலிப்பு பாய்ச்சல மார்ச் அப்ப யூ ஹேட் தென் யூ ஷட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் தேர் இஸ் a small mistake in your there's no no mistake actually uh, the flow is not laminar anymore so if you, when you want to find the gradient you have to use only the straight line part that graph if the whole graph is a curve then you will have to redo it perhaps uh, the speed of water ejecting out here is high so that you have to uh, be mindful uh, you can go through the practical handbook and uh, get more details right so this is the uh, fourth tutorial we discussed how to uh, how to prove that the poisson's equation is dimensional accurate that's a very small and very perfect, a very fundamental thing and then we studied this experiment uh, the experiment we used to uh find the determine the coefficient of viscosity so this is the final equation we got uh gradient you get from the graph and the other values are known except for eta and find eta from this